O's, the Baltimore Orioles, beat the Rays. And that's crazy. <laughs> it is <laughs> legitimately crazy. They're the, they're the first team to do it. That's that's what makes it crazy. Like, Basically. Holy moly. Yeah. Yeah. Monday was 3-0 in favor of the Rays, but then the Orioles took the next two games. Tuesday was a 4-2 score, and Wednesday was a 2-1 score. And I, I'm just, I mean, more and more, I am impressed by this Baltimore t- team. Like, it's, I don't know. Shouldn't they, should they be this good, Brad? So, this, I mean, we knew they were going to be good, right? We've talked, we talked about it. We talked about it at the end of last year. We talked about it going into this season. I don't think we knew they would be this good, though. That's the big thing, right? Like, yeah, they'll yeah. be good. They'll get a wild, wild card spot. But, like, they could be the only ones to legitimately contend for the AL East against the Rays if this continues. Yeah, exactly. Because I don't see anybody else in that division doing it. Not at this moment. And I'm very excited about that because it's been a long time coming for the O's. And I'm an AL East guy, right? I'm a Yankees right. fan. And yeah. for me to be excited about Baltimore is insane. So, like, let's be honest. <laughs> but they've yeah. been the punching bag for the AL East for so long. Mm-hmm. that uh, I think it's just beyond exciting. And and I really am thrilled for the fan base. The same in Pittsburgh. I'm thrilled for them, too. Um, and I was talking to a guy just a few hours ago about Arizona and how they're kind of coming out of their shell a little bit, too. So mm-hmm. it's a weird sort of world we're living in right now. But I'm here for it, <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> it is weird. It, it's early, so it, it's, like, okay to be weird still. But at yeah. the same time, though, it's kind of refreshing to see teams that – traditionally or typically as of late have not been good seeing them play good baseball i yeah. like it i really like it like if the league just flipped upside down i would be all for it well, of course you would your team has had a struggle on been on struggle bus for it's been a on long the bottom time. for a long time so if it flips so you're ready for the really flip. well <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah no it makes sense to me um <laughs> but i don't know do you think this will sustain Obviously, the Rays aren't going to be in any trouble with these losses, but do you think the Orioles are able to sustain this to the All Star break and beyond? I think I honestly think they can because, like I said, we thought they were going to be good. We thought they were going to be a good team, and the way they're yeah. winning is sustainable. That and that's the difference is that the way that the Rays have been winning, not super sustainable. I right? don't know. Because yeah, it's and not saying that they're not going to keep winning. They can continue to find ways to win. But I don't think they'll. I don't think they can be this dominant for an entire season because it's really, really hard to do. And yeah. there are some guys who are playing above their, like not just like above their average, but like way above average for, what, for like themselves, above, above their caliber. <laughs> yeah, who are going to take a step back at some point? They're going to cool down, yeah. and they're not going to continue to be world beaters. And it's going to affect the rest of the team. They're going to slow down. This isn't going to be the only series. Like the Orioles are not going to be the only team to beat the Rays all series, all season in the series. You know, they'll probably go on a stretch where they drop two or three at a time. But in the meantime, though, like they have built such a large lead this early that it is going to take some work for the Orioles, the Blue Jays, the Red Sox, and the Yankees to catch up to them. Oh, yeah. I think that's the I bigger think. thing here is that, that the Rays maybe have shown a little bit of a correction. Uh, more so than the Orioles have taken a step up. Does that make sense? Yep. Yeah. I think the I Orioles totally continue agree. to play good baseball. Was is all it was this whole time. Yeah, I think so. Uh, especially in the world of tanking, right? Like, <laughs> well, it, it still just I can't believe management. Well, we outperformed last year, so we're not going to spend money this year. That's what I'm saying. What? <laughs> I'm just glad that the players and the management have all come together and, you know, started sticking it to the ownership and the front office, potentially, if they're in on that dia- that dialogue and, the, you know, that sort of 